even though he did it with Falcon, maybe because he understands how to fight uh, Dr. Mario having played himself. But this is Timmy, a whole new beast. I can't imagine that Timmy is uncomfortable against Falcon. And I don't know if Schlim has ever played against a Falco like Timmy, so... That's the problem. Schlim Shady lost already two sets in the tournament. One in pools, one in bracket. Both of them against Falcos. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and this is... I mean, Timmy and Frenzy are the, the two best Falcos, so I don't know. This is this is probably going to be the hardest one yet. So, you know, if, if he beats Timmy but loses to the other Falcos, that's, you know, that's something else. <laughs> Maybe he learned so much in, a, in one weekend. You <laughs> never know. You never know. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you think about that matchup as a Falco player? Oh, I mean, it's it's one of Falco's most comfortable matchups. Um, or Falcon, excuse me, Falco's most comfortable matchups, yes. But, oh. um... Falcon can certainly do it. Uh, you know, Falcon has that explosive power. If he gets a grab, there's like the, the aspect of the tech chase. Uh, Falcon actually, his full hop stuff, the the way with that he can maneuver around platforms, the shield drops. Um, you know, he he can he can get around Falco stuff. But 90% uh, of the time, you're gonna find that Falcon is gonna be shielding or uh, kind of working around what Falco has. So. Very yeah. true. And that's also one thing, like as soon as Falco get a hit, man, he can get so much damage out of Falcon. And the edge guard on Falcon is pretty th free, even for Falco, so that oh, might yeah. be really tough. But, I mean, right now he's doing a great job at just like getting out of the pressure, capitalize a lot from one opening, and Fortnite did not manage to finish the stock, and because of it, Timmy is back, finding the forward smash, and not managing to kill to, to close the stock either. So Wait. Slim Shady take it. Timmy could have totally side B there and Slim Shady didn't even grab the edge. I I don't know. I'm I'm honestly kind of surprised on both ends. Um Slim pretty impressed by his neutral game so far, but Timmy seems like he's uh hasn't really been able to make anything really happen yet, which is a little surprising to me. So we'll kind of see how this match kind of plays out. Is he gonna get a No, okay, no tech chase follow-up, <laughs> no shine punish from Timmy. Okay, here's the, the combo game, but Man, yeah, it seems like both sides can't really get too much started. They're kind of just trading hits right now. Yeah, very true, very true. Maybe, I mean, this is the beginning of the top eight. I don't know. Maybe they'll be tired of the weekend. I don't know at all. Maybe I know, like, both of them were facing Floaty just earlier. Maybe there's just a time for them to get used to the fast folder physics, in a sense. <laughs> at least Timmy showing up some great punish, finally. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Oh, oh, what a re-grab. I, I really... Me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, was sick. I'm honestly quite impressed by Schlim's Falcon so far. Like, it honestly, I, like it, it wasn't, it just wasn't looking that hot uh, earlier. I did watch him lose to, to one of the Falcos that you mentioned. It's just, I don't know, he looked kind of sluggish. Uh, not really a strong punish game, but um, I do like Schlim's side Bs. Uh, it seems like um, he, he's been hitting those uh, just like side B back air knees stuff like that uh, pretty consistently in this first match. So uh, we'll see how this. Kind of continues. Yeah, no no tech chases so far, unfortunately, though. Yeah, I, I feel like definitely the tech chase is not a strong point at all. Like, at all. Oh. Right now, after a dare and the knee is so far off stage, might be it, and this is it. Slim Shady picking up the first game. That's, uh... Honestly, I'm a little bit shocked. It seems like... It seems like Slim's gotten a lot of mileage out of, like, the side B, and that's kind of made Timmy a little bit... Uh, a little bit worried about that in particular. I see him kind of preemptively shielding a lot. Um, so we'll see how Timmy adjusts. Um, I, I, I do know that like Timmy has a much higher potential than what we saw in game one, so. For sure, for sure. I mean, we're gonna see that. Uh, right now, the thing is like, if that game was really close, if the wall set gonna be really close, I mean, the first game matters a lot, because that's, that means, even if Timmy brings Slim Shady on his counter pick, 1-1, one, one, Slim Shady bring him on his, on his own counter pick, 2-1, Timmy again, 2-2, two, two, but the last stage will be for Slim Shady. Right. And if every single match would be as close as the first one was, that game matters a lot. Oh, yeah. Totally. Um, so, I'm, I'm pretty curious to see where the counter pick war is gonna go, so it is... Timmy's counter pick. Now, if I were in his shoes, you know, the, the obvious choices are like Fountain of Dreams mm -hmm. um, and FD, I guess. Fountain of Dreams because, you know, Falcon no longer... Uh, Falcon kind of gets stuffed, and then FD is kind of nice because, well, Falcon has nowhere to run, and then you have to deal with lasers, right? So, let's see where he... Oh, he goes Yoshi story. Really interesting. Oh. Um, you know, I don't, I don't disagree with this, but... Um, 
You know, uh, Falcon... <laughs> you know, like, usually oh. that, that kind of peak is when, you, is when you want blood, you know what I mean? It's like you want your opening close to you and you want to make a huge combo, you just want the punish here. I, I feel Timmy might be a bit upset, bit upset. Because of that, because of, because of the previous game, and I feel like he just he just won the punish game. He just wants to keep the Falcon close to him, and look right. at that. I mean, it's working pretty well. Yeah, that was a very clean first stock, honestly. Um, Timmy moving just like in general a lot more. I wanted to point that out because game one he was a little a little stiff, I would say. Um, now let's see. Okay. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh, that repositioning in the blaster forest smash. Where are you going, Falcon? Where are you going? Look at that. Still on you. <laughs> You're not shielding against me. You're not. Oh, man. Timmy right there, I think, went for a shine up B, but um, ended up turning around, having an early input, so couldn't really get the side or get, uh, the up B out. Um, yeah, right there, Timmy, I think, has started to catch on to Shlim Shady's side Bs. Uh, Shlim's honestly been kind of spamming it a little oh, bit. Man. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm. So, to me, this is like a pretty strong adjustment from Timmy's side. Uh, okay, stop knee. Yeah, but it, again, just like the general um, increased mobility and just like general awareness of uh, Schlim's kind of tendency to, to really favor side B. So... That is a warning right there. Taking the hit, you're negative. I'm gonna shine after you because I don't have enough percent for you to follow up afterwards. And look at that. Boom. Up to that wave dash back. Putting him on the oh. side. Oh! <laughs> Not well, over yet. ledge cancelled. <laughs> Not over yet, baby. Oh, man. All right, all right. That's yeah. a guarantee down there, yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's one of the toughest things as a, as a Falcon, when you grab someone with the up B, if he's on stage and got like old person gonna punish you, and you've got a higher percent, and there's a wall behind him just gonna wall jump, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely wall jump tech, and just punish you afterwards, so yeah. Right. Tough thing. So, you know, you talked about the counter pick war. Yeah, I, I definitely expected Dreamland, you know, this makes a lot of sense. Uh, more space for Slim to kind of move around. I wonder if this will favor him or not, though. Um, because it felt like a lot of the, the openings that Schlim got in the past were because it was just scramble situations. But Dreamland is a lot uh, bigger of a stage, so, you know, there, there's room for both people to really set up their, their, their neutral game. Very true. Very, very true. So we'll see how Schlim does in this kind of a, a setting. That's one thing that's really hard, I feel, Falcon, that matchup. I feel like you don't have a really good stage anyway. And uh, one of your better stage, which is Dreamland, is also one of the greatest stage for Falco, I feel. Mm. So that's kind of tough. And boom, forward, you don't go down, obviously. No, man, you won't pick the edge, you'll pick my feet. And already a lead for Timmy. Oh, wow. good call. Wow, Slim, honestly, um, <laughs> you know, playing with the, the confidence of... Uh, Honestly, a seasoned veteran of Falco, a Falcon. He, like you know, a lot of times when people pick up like a new main, they're kind of like conservative with the way that they play. But Slim's honestly pretty aggressive. I feel like, as you said, I mean, I completely agree on what you said earlier. Like at the beginning of the of the weekend, he wasn't that impressive of a Falcon, but he definitely just like I don't know, get freed from his shackle, something like that. You know, <laughs> and now it's like he, he can move, he can do his stuff. And it's definitely way more threatening than it was at the beginning of the weekend. All right, all right, good call by Timmy. And boom. I think one more chance. No, not quite. Uh, I man, I I really feel like the the biggest thing that's kind of lacking with Slim is just like he doesn't have like the reaction tech chases. I think if he had slightly more threat with his grabs, like one that was just get him more damage, like right there. But two, it would make Timmy a lot like less comfortable doing approaches. Like even that pressure, it's like, oh, if there's a threat of like, I might die if I mess up slightly, you know, Timmy would honestly just play a lot more conservatively. That's very true, actually. Oh, and Fort nearly missing the knee and get hit by the up B here. Wow, what a spacing the blaster for a smash, taking the edge, snapping it even then. Letting Slim Shady lost his stock. And as the previous game was three stock to one, but missed his invincibility, this his stall on the edge, losing his stock by a back here. So now I mean you never know. Falcon can come back really quickly. Oh. Mm. Oh wow, this uh 
Jimmy is really good at contesting the approach of uh, of Slim Shady. I feel it's really good, you know, just like throwing out some hitbox here and there just in case. Oh, unfortunately, once again getting hit by that up B. Oh, oh nice. what a turnaround grab. All right. All right. Oh, <laughs> Timmy thought about it. He yeah. thought about it. Oh my god, yeah. Shim Shady laughing about it and get that done. And fortunately, no tech here. I feel it wasn't ready to get sent toward the stage. But yeah, 2 1 for Timmy, man. After that first close game, Timmy just like show us strong is on the two next ones. You know, it really kind of seemed like what we talked about. Like, Shlim kind of came in with this kind of this different play style. Um, and Timmy also seemed like he was a little, needed a little bit of time to adjust. And the, the, the games two and three were, were more along what I kind of expected. Uh, we'll see if game four, if Slim can kind of make this adjustment, but I think it will be very hard because his punish game right now is just lots of times just making, uh, making guesses, right? And kind of throwing out side Bs out there. So I don't know, without a reliable punish game, it's going to be really hard to kind of deal with Timmy's honestly really solid punish game. Let's see what he can get right now. Okay, no tech chase, but usually pretty consistent. What do you think about the fact that it's going to Pokemon Stadium this time? You know, I think it's a fine pick. Um, as Falco, like, I also like the stage against Falcon. So, um, I don't know, I think this is actually like a pretty neutral stage. The better player should win oh, here. Oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, oh la la, Jimmy! Man, look at all this pressure, man. He just don't let him go and suddenly just laser down tilt to get the kill on the Falcon in Pokemon Stadium. What a mad man, what a mad bird. <laughs> yeah, that was that was quite a combo. Oh man. Well, really good DI from a slim DI to shine up, making it a lot harder for Timmy to, to get the extension. Now. Oh man, yeah, Slim is having a really hard time getting that, that first neutral opening, let alone the punish. Timmy just like spacing the lasers, the aerials, all so cleanly, and okay, no tech chase from Timmy. Missing the up air. Man, what can Slim do? Yeah, I, I mean, Timmy's really good once, once again at, at contesting the approach of Slim. And uh, I feel like also the shield of Timmy is really strong. Because like every single time, Slim is trying to approach Fenariel on his shield, get punished for it. And as soon as you want maybe to grab or stuff like that, just to just to roll back air or stuff or laser just stop him right away. So he's not even trying to do so. He's not even trying to make some tomahawk or stuff like that, you know? He's right. not like making some mix, I want to say, in his approach. He's really linear, which definitely helped Timmy just stop everything from him. Right, it's almost every time, um, like the short hop neutral air from the platform or some form of short hop neutral air, right? So, um, yeah, I actually would really like to see like a tomahawk or, or some kind of mix up to get a little bit closer to Timmy, but we're not like, really seeing it yet. Exactly, like, I don't know, like a short up forward, suddenly double jump, you know, trying to punish the reaction of Timmy, something like that. But yeah, for sure, I feel like it's just one of the lack of, uh, of the of the Steam Shady's Falcon from now. Mm -hmm. But as we said, I mean, he just picked recently the character, already top eight here. Ooh. Oh, I think he could have gotten one more. Ooh. Nice, wow. You know, uh, who needs punish game when you can edge guard? <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's the thing. I mean, as soon as Shim Shitty get the hit, sometimes Ooh. it's no joke, man. All right. Cornered, trying to roll. Timmy already closing it up. And once again, blocking the same approach. Uh oh. Missed it. Oh, no. oh man. Now, this is Slim's tournament stock. It is. Uh, and he's got to dig deep because oh God, throws out a side B immediately. <laughs> At least he is on a cornered. Get the grab out of it. Oh. He hasn't gotten, he's literally not gotten a single tech chase. I just want to point that out. And that's rough because if you're relying on just guessing, well, you know. Yeah, that's very true. My advice is at least take the 50-50 the confirm. Either guess that it's going to be in place, or uh, just confirm uh, a tech away or tech towards and go for that. And it'll be... Oh, no! Oh, why'd he go for the up air? No! That's got to be it. Oh, yeah. 3-1 for Timmy, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on into losers' quarters. Gonna face later on during the day, I think the losers of Ice and Frenzy, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not mistaken, because I'm a god at reading bracket, you all yep. know that, <laughs> maybe not. 
But uh, I mean, so yeah, we're gonna see afterwards who he's gonna face, or his teammate, or a fellow Falco player. In any case, gonna be exciting. Oh yeah. In any case. But that aside, we're gonna see, I think, the weirdest matchup in that top eight. We're gonna see the Luigi against the Sheik. We're gonna see Ja riding against Amsa. Right. But one thing to note is like every Netherlands top player, every one of them struggle with.